what lies beneath the crimson sands of Mars? For centuries, this question has haunted the minds of scientists and dreamers alike. Now, in a revelation that promises to rewrite the history books, NASA has unearthed something extraordinary lurking beneath the surface of the red planet. NASA launched a Mars lander named InSight on November 26, 2018. Its mission is to examine Mars thoroughly, like giving the planet a checkup, to understand how it formed 4.5 billion years ago. InSight is the first robotic explorer to make a detailed study of the inner space of Mars, its crust, mantle and core. Studying Mars's interior will help scientists answer key questions about the early formation of rocky planets in our inner solar system, like Mars, Venus, Earth, as well as rocky exoplanets. Specifically, the InSight mission seeks to uncover how a rocky body forms and evolves to become a planet by investigating the interior structure and composition of Mars. However, dealing with the challenges of Mars's atmosphere and how the lander interacts with the planet's surface is quite tricky. For example, when the lander's rocket plume hits the Martian soil, it can impact the landing site in different ways, possibly making the lander unstable. One of the primary objectives of the InSight mission was to dig into the Martian surface to measure the planet's internal temperature. This would help scientists understand how Mars has changed over time. However, the mission faced challenges like clumpy soil, which made it hard for the digging tool to go as deep as planned. Despite several attempts, including using the robotic arm to add soil to the probe for extra grip, the mole didn't make much progress. Well, the mole is a 16-inch long pile driver connected to the lander by a tether with embedded temperature sensors. These sensors are designed to measure heat flowing from the planet once the mole has dug at least 10 feet deep, but the mole remains incompatible with Mars's soil. Then, the spacecraft brought the first seismometer to Mars, known as the Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure. But first, let's learn how seismometers work. In seismometers, there are two primary types of seismic waves, P waves and S waves. P waves or primary waves are compressional waves that travel through solids, liquids and gases. They are the fastest seismic waves and arrive at seismometers first. S waves or secondary waves are shear waves that only travel through solids. They are slower than P waves and arrive after P waves. By analyzing the arrival times and characteristics of these seismic waves, scientists can infer valuable information about the planet's interior. For example, if S waves are absent in certain regions, it indicates that those regions are likely liquid. On April 6, 2019, the seismometer recorded its first Mars quake, a significant event. Since then, it has detected over 730 Mars quakes, providing valuable insights into the planet's seismic activity. Approximately 35 of these Mars quakes with magnitudes between 3 and 4 on the Richter scale told us important things about how thick Mars's outer layer is and what it's made of. And these shaking observations also show that Mars's center is hot and liquid, which helps us understand how Mars changes inside over time. Underneath the crust is the mantle, a thick layer that extends about 969 miles below the surface. At the very center of Mars lies the core, which has a radius of 1,137 miles. Confirming the size of the molten core was especially exciting because Mars is much smaller than Earth, only measuring about 6,770 79 kilometers across. They also discovered something interesting about Mars's history. A long time ago, around 4 billion years ago, Mars lost its magnetic field. This happened when its core cooled down so much that it stopped moving compared to the layers around it. But even though the magnetic field disappeared, InSight found traces of it still stuck in rocks deep below the surface. NASA calls these leftover traces ghosts of the old magnetism. They're found anywhere from 61 meters to several miles underground. What's surprising is that the strength of this leftover magnetism is 10 times stronger than what other spacecraft had measured whilst orbiting Mars. This suggests that Mars's old magnetic field might have been much stronger than we thought before. InSight is also providing daily weather reports from Mars. This is the vibrations from the Martian wind, estimated to be blowing at 10 to 15 miles per hour. The vibration is very low pitched, which can be heard better with microphones. And here's the sound of the wind when we increase the pitch to two octaves. That's a wrap folks, subscribe for more space related discoveries and we'll see you in the next video.